Hey everybody, this is Abhay. In this video, we are going to solve a problem called longest mountain in array. So rather than reading the whole question, I'll just simply explain you what it says. So uh, in this question called longest mountain in array, we will be given an array. Here we have the same array as we have seen in the question that is 2, 1, 4, 7, 3, 2 and 5. So what we have to do, we have to check that what is the longest mountain that is formed from this sub array from this array and by saying mountain which means that let's say here we have uh, now let's mark all these number array here we got two then one four seven three two and five right this is the number of array now we have to so let's create a uh, something of height 2 let's say this is of height 2 okay let's make it a little smaller this is of height 2 right now 1 this is of height 1 then we have 4 so 4 is twice as 2 so it will go up to here right this is 4 now let's make 7 7 will be some somewhere here so this is of height 7 that we have 3 this is 3 2 again this is 2 then we have 5 5 will go someone somewhere here right so this is now let's make the mountain of it so let's uh, draw the top right so this is how it is now as we can see this structure from 1 from 1 from here to here is a mountain that is this structure is a mountain and we have to check that sub array this is sub array is 1 4 7 3 2 1 4 7 3 2 right this is the sub array forming mountain and we have to return of this return the length of this sub array that is 5 in this case so we have to return 5 in this particular from this particular array so we basically have to uh, find the mountain and corresponding sub array and the length of that sub array this is what we have to find right now there could be a situation where uh, mount in this case we have only one mountain there could be a situation where we have multiple mountains like this so in that case we have to return the maximum you know length of mountain right so in this case here we have one or one mountain so we we just have to turn this length right now how we are going to do this now let's uh, think of the algorithm so this is we can do using uh, peak and valley method and this method is we will define two boolean value that is peak peak which is initially set to false right then we define a uh, valley valley which is also set to false okay initially both is false now we start traversing our array and while traversing if we found a peak that is from here here this is i when it is on i that is one and let's say this is i plus one and if at any point i plus one is greater than i that is this case here so that says this is a peak so in that case we will set peak to true and i will be incremented that is this increment is just for you know regular traversal right so we if we are at one and i plus one is greater than i that is four is greater than one that means this is a peak and we will set it true and i will be incremented now i is here right now if i is here and this is i plus one again i plus one is greater than i again peak is true and incremented i will be incremented so this is again a peak now we are at here i is incremented again so we are at here i is at here now this is i plus one and this time i plus one is three and i is seven now i plus one is less than i here 
so in that case we have to set valley is equal to true because we encountered a valley here right we are not setting peak true false peak to false we are setting valley to true and peak is true already right so here i is incremented again in here also i is incremented so it will go to here right now i is here and i plus 1 is here again i plus 1 is smaller than i because 2 is smaller than 3 again valley is set to true and i will be incremented so i will be here right now if we go further we, we will see that we again found a peak so th that's not what we have to do we just have to check this now here at the same time peak is true and valley is true we only have to find this situation where peak and valley are true at the same time both are true at the same time and if that's the condition that means we have we are we encountered a mountain and we have to calculate the length of that mountain right and and after all our traversal we have different lengths of mountain and among that we have to return the maximum length so it will be more clear when we see the actual code for this one so let's see the actual code right so here is our question so we will start with now if the length of the array is less than 3 that means th there is no possibility to make a mountain we will simply return 0 right if a dot length is less than 3 in that case return 0 so now let's create some uh, variable end result result is in reset to 0 this is what we have to return this is the length right and again we have a end i is is 0 let's set it to 0 right now let's set our boolean value boolean peak is initially set to false then boolean valley also set to false right now let's begin our traversal while i is less than a dot length minus 1 okay while i is le i is less than a dot length minus 1 if we encountered a peak that is a i is less than a i plus 1 that is that is we encountered a peak where the next value is greater than our previous value in that case we will store that initial point that is int start int start is i so we stored the initial point it will going to help us now if uh, a of i is less than a dot length a dot length minus one and this was just to make sure that it doesn't go out of our array if ai is less than a dot length minus one and ai is less than a dot i a i plus one this is just to make sure that we are encountering peak every time right not if condition here will be a while condition while a ai is less than a dot 10 minus 1 and ai is less than ai plus 1 that is we are going we are encountering peak every time so until we are encountering peak i will be incremented and peak is set to true as we have discussed in the algorithm right now as we are out of this while loop that means we had encountered a uh, valley or we are out of the array right this two condition is only possible now let's assume that we encountered a valley right if a while a i is less than a dot length minus one this is the just to check we are not of the we are not out of the array a dot a i is less than a dot length minus one and a of i is greater than a of i plus one that is we are encountering valley so in that case i will be incremented again and valley is set to true right 
now if peak and valley both are true at the same time that means we are encountering a mountain peak peak is true and valley va valley is uh, true both at the same time in that case we are encountering a peak so result that is as we declared initially here you can see result it will be the maximum of among all the mountain mat dot max result and uh, now uh, as we have seen that we have encountered mountains okay so that means we are at here so i is now here this position so this position and start is here right as we have set start to i as you can see here uh, start is set to i that is initially this was the start and this is i after our traversal at here so what we will do we will i minus start plus one this will simply give us uh, because if we calculate the length we have one two three and four the length got four but the uh, size of the array is five so we have to add one to get our answer okay so i minus start plus one this will uh, this line will simply give us the maximum value of i minus start plus one that we want the maximum of among all the mountains right so this is our result now we are out of the loop and what we do we set peak to false because we have to do it again so peak is false and value will also be set to false to reach just to reset the value right now uh this is our if condition now else condition for this if condition is just begin traversing that means we are not getting either a peak or a valley right else i plus plus else keep traversing now after all this return result right now let's run the code okay it says uh, error unexpected type so what it is uh, here it will be okay now run this one again we got an error this is index out of pound uh, it is a minus one and okay we got the error and this error is here this is not i ai is just i oh, okay again again an error is here it's just i right now let's again run this one so as you can see this solution is accepted now submit this one okay our solution got successfully submitted so that's it for this video if you are still watching this video then that's great thank you very much and subscribe to the channel for more coding interview problems see you in the next video